Pretty good, man. How about yourself? Good, man. Just enjoying life. It's been a while since I've been at the Comic Con. Absolutely, yeah. Well, this is a this is a good one. So, uh, how's life treating you? I can't complain. I'm happy to be here, man. So, you are one of the youngest guests on the Tonight Show ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on Johnny Carson and Jay Lynn. What was it like being a young filming pet Gosh, I, sometimes I feel like I have an imposter syndrome because I was so little, I don't remember a lot of it. And it's been such a big part of my life all these years that uh, I'm super thankful for, for what it's uh, you know, been. But, uh, uh, I don't remember too much of it, unfortunately. Do you think more people should follow your line in kindergarten or cop? Uh, boys have penises and girls have vaginas? It's, it's true, I verified it. Uh, but nowadays you never know, you know? Uh, it's kind of become infa infamous, that line. You say it to people randomly? Not randomly. You, you can get uh, you can get in trouble for that. Yeah, it's pretty mixed <laughs> but, uh, now. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You got to feel it out. See, if they're if they're cool with it. <laughs> Some people have neat. <laughs> yeah, it's each their own, I guess. So, what was it like growing up in front of the camera? Uh, when I was little, I honestly didn't know any different because I grew up with it. I think I didn't really have perspective about the unique situation I was in until I was much older. Um, and, and yeah, it was, it was probably strange, but it didn't feel strange at the time because I had no other frame of reference. And you later uh, played the truck driver who kills Gage for a video by Ice Nine. Yeah, Ice Nine Kills. How did that come about? Uh, through mutual friends. Uh, I got put in touch with Spencer, uh, the, the lead artist of the band there, and uh, I learned about how they do all music videos based on, on different films, and uh, they wanted to do one on that cemetery, and I thought that was so awesome, and, and Spencer's so dope. He's such a like true horror fan, um, and I think that was a, a cool full circle thing to, to get to play the, the truck driver in the music video. So what was it like killing something? Uh, easier than I expected. <laughs> So if you were on death row, what would be your last meal? Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting choice. Do you go just like full garbage meal because you know and you're not going to pay the consequences? But then, you, but then you're going to be electrocuted and like bloated and like burping. So you just go like full pizza, large pizza, or maybe, I don't know, I, I, salmon. I love salmon. I'm going to go with salmon and blueberries. Why not? And I could go either way with that one. That's, that's an interesting one. That's Why a not? unique one. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going out? Which way you, uh, what's your... Uh, uh, in, a, in a blaze of glory, hopefully. <laughs> like shooting squad thing? Like what? Like a firing squad? Oh, maybe, or just like jump. Just, I mean, just splat and get a ride on the way down. Just a nice, nice long fall. That could be fun. I don't know. It usually catches you by surprise, so we'll know when it happens, right? If you could choose your next next project based on your idea, what would it be? Uh, based on of my own idea? Yeah. Next project? Uh, I like playing the bad guy. Something like that would be fun. Uh, you know, it's, I'm kind of starting to act again a little bit. I, I hadn't uh, for a long time there, so uh, I'm just happy to, to play, you know, if it's a good character. I think that's all that really matters, if it's, if it's well written and, and can connect with it, you know, from the right time for it. Um, yeah, it'd be fun. What's next for you? Uh, we did a, a fan film based on the, the characters from Wes Craven's New Nightmare. We've got the first screening of it next weekend, which I'm excited and terrified for. Uh, so that's going to be finishing up. I think they're going to do some more uh, tweaks to it after after it's seen next week, and it'll be coming out later this year. I did another horror film, which unfortunately I can't talk about yet. It's uh, going to be in post-production. They're, they're trying to wrap up the last few days. Uh, it's kind of fell into it. It's it a cool one. It's a classic horror uh, uh, series, I guess you could say. It's uh, getting remade. Uh, so I got to, to play a fun little part of that for a day or two. Um, and then there's some other projects that have reached out that, that look likely, that I'm hopeful, that's not finalized yet. So, you know, I'm always open to it. See, it's kind of played by ear. How do I follow the If you want to follow me, Instagram is the best place. I'm on there 
the most. Um, I'm on Twitter as well. Facebook, not so much. My Instagram is woeismiko, W-O-E-I-S-M-I-K-O. Um, there's some fake ones out there, that's the real one. I get shadow banned a lot because I say a bunch of crazy stuff on my stories, so you gotta type it specifically a lot of times. But I'm out there. You can find me. Uh, my favorite to film was most likely New Nightmare because I was old enough to remember a lot of it and Freddy was just such a cool character growing up. I was, I was very familiar with him before filming and getting to be a part of it uh, was, was really exciting. Thank you for being on my show. It's been a pleasure yeah. speaking with you. Today. Thank you. This is fun. And I would hope to see you at maybe another conference. I hope to see you again too, bud. Pleasure speaking with you. Catch you around.